friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it's meal prep day and I have three amazing, delicious, you have to make these recipes. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes as well as all of the other recipes I've created here on my channel. Nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's make three amazing recipes for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making a low carb bacon, egg, and cheese quesadilla. We are actually using cheese as the shell of our quesadilla. So this is going to be high protein, low carb. My plan is to pair this with some type of healthy carb, whether that be an English muffin, toast, or even some fruit. So let me show you what's in breakfast. First, you're going to need some bacon. I'm just using fully cooked bacon, so much easier. You'll also need some eggs, light shredded cheese, green onions, and a tomato. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I am lining a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I have three quarters of a cup of light shredded cheese. What I'm going to do is divide this in half, place it on the parchment paper, and we're going to spread it out. It's pretty thin, but in a circle shape because this is actually going to be the quesadilla portion of our breakfast. This is taking the place of a tortilla. So we want again a circle shape thin so that it can melt into basically a cheese shell. And then this is going into that 400 degree oven until it is all melted. While the cheese shells are in the oven, I'm going to scramble up six eggs. We need one and a half eggs per cheese shell. So I just took the cheese shells out of the oven. I've got my scrambled eggs here. And again, this is six eggs. We want about one and a half eggs per shell. I'm going to make four breakfast quesadillas. So I'm going to put about one and a half of the scrambled eggs on one half of the cheese shell. And then I'm going to crumble up one slice of bacon. I just threw that pre-cooked bacon into the microwave just to get it nice and crispy again. I have some fresh tomatoes and then some green onion. And then all you're going to do is take the other half of that cheese shell and fold it over. And here's what they look like. These look so good. I'm actually going to allow them to cool completely. I should be able to then just pop that cheese shell right off of the parchment paper. So I'm going to go ahead and line my pan with some fresh paper and get this next two into the oven. So here are the last two of the breakfast quesadillas. These look amazing. This is going to be such a great protein packed breakfast. So again, one quesadilla is one serving. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm gonna make a cashew chicken stir fry. I have been craving Chinese food and I love cashew chicken, so we're making a healthier version. Let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need cornstarch, minced garlic, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. I just buy, bought them off of Amazon and we love them. You'll need rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, cashews, green onions. I'm using ground chicken. You can also use chicken breast and some broccoli. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my ground chicken browning in a skillet. When it's about halfway browned, I'm going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic. I also have my broccoli in my little Pampered Chef steamer. I'm going to throw it in the microwave and get the broccoli steamed so that we can add it to the chicken once it's browned. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. I'm 
going to mix up the sauce while the chicken finishes cooking. So I'm going to start with one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, a couple tablespoons of water and a teaspoon of sesame oil. This is half a teaspoon, so I'm going to do two, and then we're going to mix that together. Once your chicken is fully cooked through, I'm going to add in the broccoli. I did go ahead and drain it after I steamed it in the microwave. And then I'm going to add in my sauce and then stir that and allow it to simmer for about three to four minutes. We want that sauce to have a chance to coat all of the ground chicken, the broccoli, and thicken up a little bit from that cornstarch that we added. Look at how good this looks. I'm telling you, it smells absolutely incredible. I'm going to transfer it to a storage container. We'll add our cashews and our green onions. So here is the cashew chicken. I'm going to top it with one half of a cup of cashews and then some fresh green onion. So here's the completed cashew chicken. I can't tell you how excited I am for this for lunches. This entire batch makes only four servings. So you are getting a lot of protein, vegetables. We get the cashews, which add that sweetness and that crunch. I'll go ahead and put up here on the screen points, calories, and macros per serving. For a snack this week, I am making peanut butter cup protein Rice Krispie Treats. I know, protein Rice Krispie Treats, super excited. Five ingredients, let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need a sugar-free maple syrup. You guys already know Lakanto is my all-time favorite. It doesn't have caramel coloring, and to me, it tastes like regular syrup. I will link Lakanto down below with a 15% off discount. I have some Lily's chocolate chips, Rice Krispie cereal, vanilla protein powder. As always, I'm using a scent. This is my casein vanilla bean protein. Love, love, love this. I will link a scent, for you, a scent for you as well. I buy it right off of Amazon. Love a scent, nice clean ingredients. And then I have some no sugar added, chunky, skippy peanut butter. So the first thing we're going to do is add four cups of rice cereal to a large bowl. And then we're going to add two scoops of our scent vanilla bean protein powder. and then stir that together really well. Next into a microwave safe bowl, we're going to add one cup of crunchy peanut butter. And we're adding in one cup of maple syrup. So this is half of a cup, so I'm going to do two of those. We're going to put this into the microwave until the peanut butter is melted, and then we're going to mix it all together to create the liquid for the Rice Krispies. So we're going to add that peanut butter syrup mixture to the Rice Krispies. That serves as the sticky of a Rice Krispie treat. Mix that up really well with that Rice Krispie protein powder mixture. And then we're going to spread that out on a parchment lined baking sheet. So I went ahead and melted 300 Lily's chocolate chips, and I'm going to spread that right on top of the Rice Krispie treats. And then for me, I like to throw them in the refrigerator. That will allow them to cool a little bit faster, harden a little bit faster. Then you can eat them a little bit quicker as well. So go ahead and spread that chocolate right on top. I'm going to keep my chocolate on about three quarters of it because Troy doesn't like chocolate, and I want him to be able to eat some of these as well. So I'm going to leave a small section chocolate free. So like I said, I'm going to toss these in the refrigerator until they're cooled and then we'll cut them into bars. So here are the protein rice crispy treats. It makes 20 bars total. I did go ahead and cut Troy's a little bit bigger, but you want to cut your square into 20 bars. These smell amazing. I can't wait to have one later today. So I'm going to put points 
calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to dig into these all week long. Don't forget down in the description box, I will link my recipe website. That's where you'll find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We would love to have you. If you enjoyed the meal prep, give it a thumbs up. And again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.